Hi there and welcome back. It's Tanya from Tatty Treasures. Thank you for joining me today. If you're new then welcome, welcome aboard and if you are a returning subscriber then it's always nice to have you uh, back. So this week I have been um, working through the things that I made with the Memories of the Meadow uh, kit and I'd got quite a few unfinished projects and this is one of them so all I needed to do with this one was make a tassel which we did uh, yesterday I made uh, the cover I think I did it on a Patreon only video I know I did these on video, but I don't know if they was on the Patreon or if they was on just a top of video uh, that I'd done at some some other point. Yeah, these the covers was definitely done um, in the Patreon um, series. So got these policy envelopes, and we made uh, these. So we've got like a bookmark. Um, type journal card little notebook and another little notebook so that's at the front okay and then at the back did this belly band and just a little uh, writing board and then um, they was a freebie um, on Patreon as well so pop that in there obviously need to cover um, that up before um, before I sew the signature in let me locate some lace um, let's have a look in here that's probably that's probably enough, isn't it? So we might as well get that stuck down. Um, and then I want to go through the journal and see um, what one's and doing. So make sure that's nice and flattened and down. So I've not had a look in this journal since I did it and I, I did do it off camera but I've made all the ephemera uh, on camera and all the um, meadows ephemera and embellishments are in a playlist called Memories of Meadow. There'll be some projects there from uh, last year as well and then all the projects from this year using using that kit. And if you've not seen this kit before, it's a collaboration uh, kit between myself, Tati's Treasure, and Nanine at Collage Type. We both have um, different, uh, different but the same um, kits. So they're all memories of the meadow, but there's, you know, different different parts of it and it was a new kit last year and then we've added on to it this year hopefully that won't be too thick to to go through I don't normally uh, put my ephemera in I'm gonna leave that like that wait till it's dried a little bit and then I'm just gonna go round it with my uh, smaller tip so if I just cut it off there and then I can neaten, neaten it up after. So that's that bit done. Put that pin back in. Pop that down there. I'm going to pop this uh, to one side. And that's that. I don't know if I just finished what I was saying or, or not. So... Starts off with, oh yes, I was saying I don't normally 
do my ephemera first but I think I wasn't feeling uh, very well and I think I just sat in my bedroom um, sticking the the ephemera in if I remember um, correctly that's it so did do those um, in a video I might be best to let's just do it page by page even though you know that's a front page and that's a back page it'll be just easier uh, to do so I want a tag in there now I'm trying to use up all the um, kit tags and what have you <laughs> what have you it's maybe a little bit too too narrow Got a square one. Oh, that might be, be okay. Yeah. I think I'll just put that one in. Only trouble is then, yeah. <laughs> you cover things up, don't you? Hmm. That's I don't want this on. I look like this is a decoupage one. Still uh, miss everything, but I think it needs something uh, a bit a bit brighter. So that can go in there. Um, I'm going to do some stamping and some stenciling. So I've got the tea stained uh, one. I've got that. Uh, new one which i showed i don't know if i'll be using that or not i've got a postage one and one with leaves on i've got my fave the crackle one i've got some text i've got some you know that stuff <laughs> um got a few greens I've got sepia green yeah we've got lots of green and a and a bronze so I think I think I'm just gonna put a little bit of script around it just so it doesn't look as uh, plain. So I'm gonna do that so as to you know join it together so it's you know not just a piece stuck on kind of thing. It just um, ties ties them in together then okay so that is that one come on <laughs> then we open it up we've got this lovely uh, edge here so let's get the glue out and Anything that's sticking up and what have you, we can catch it uh, now. Okay. So I think on there I will just do some stenciling. So I might, might use that green and just maybe do some here. So I've got a brush. Um, let's use that bamboo leaves. Oh yeah, nice. And then perhaps just a bit coming out of here just gives it a bit more interest doesn't it on the on the page so that's that one okay so this is obviously the back and then that's that's the back as well so what can we put on here so I've got my tray of bits bits what are left and stuff okay, maybe I 
can stick that there. And then do some postal marks. I don't want to go over the top with the, um, you know, stamping and, and what have you. Just so there's a bit of something um, on the page. Okay, and then I'm just gonna love like. <laughs> Now let's stick that down. It's nearly the wrong way. Okay, and then we've got this page. And then There to stay there uh, better. I've not got a lot of uh, stuff stuff left. Maybe I could have that there and then pretty. Let's get the normal ink out. Yeah, so I'm dreading sewing this one in really um, with with decorated. But I know some people prefer uh, to do it that way. Um, so I've done one or two, but it always just seems a bit a bit traumatic. <laughs> So that's that. I might try and keep lids on. Try. Let's um, use this coppery. I want it. It's got quite a shine to it. That's why I'm being. You know, I'm not stamping it down uh, forcefully. Okay, so that's those pages done. So I'll put those there. What have we got next? I've got stuff everywhere. <laughs> right, they can go there. So the next page, we've got this um, insert. Where's that ink gone? pin for my glue so I don't think I want anything else Ooh, on the front of this oh come on I'll be taking it back out again in a minute okay okay so that's right and what's this do it's been a while since <laughs> since I did it So I think that wants a bit of something on the on the front. Let's pop that ticket there. I'm gonna glue it three sides because you could always stick another ticket inside. We've got another ticket. Hmm. Okay, oh, all that fit and no. No, I can't see it on. But we'll leave it uh, like that. So that one goes 
taken that like that and then we've got that clip on just to keep that flap come on Tanya I think I've got glue on my fingers now okay so that's that um, <coughs> on there no, it's not too thick it's one of the pieces from uh, the graphics 45 uh, die cuts to the uh, I think it's called country garden I did do a um, a folio with it take it out make sure it's that's it okay And we've got this back. I wonder if that'll fit in there. No, it's too tall. That's a shame. Um, what have I got? A little die. No. Well, let's just pop that there. Okay. Got that. Got that. And that's the back. So that can go in. Okay. Next page. So we've got this book page. I don't want to do anything to no that's fine then we've got the craft paper I don't want to do any stamping on that I like I like that as it is so we've got a pocket there and we've got that we've got a paper clip there oh that's a double um, one so I think just some um I think I'm gonna do the, the green again I think I'll do this for about half an hour um and then um end the video because you know I'm only gonna be sticking little bits in and doing uh bits of stenciling but for anybody you know is perhaps not not done uh, a journal oh that's nice so I'm going to do that different Oops. do that one nice and then I'll go in I must remember to put uh, lids on yeah that's fine let's um, do it that way Oop. <laughs> oh dear me okay Lovely. I feel like I need to um, have another one of those. Okay, so the only page we've got nothing on is uh, this one. That's probably a bit too soon because we had that other one, didn't we? 
And remembering, you know, it's not going to be next to that page. So this is perfect for using all those little, little bits of what like you've got, got left. Okay, so that's that a page. The next one is this one. So I've done it on a on there. I don't think there's anything on there. So let's get a couple of where have I put them? Put those two in. I'll just ink around them. On the back side. And then tomorrow we will start the hardback uh, journal. So we're going to be starting to put in some flips and some um, tippings. So that, that will be a, a more funner video. So I don't want to do anything on the back, I don't think. Maybe. Yeah, let's just put uh, a label. Okay. Um, we open it all got that colouring page there so I don't want to do do anything uh, to that I think we might need oh no we've got stuff in there so that's that got that little decoration there and then we've got the bird and the number there don't know if I want to cover that number not because I don't like it just to have something a bit a bit bigger um, on there so we'll put this sunshine there. Yep. Okay. Up to the side to dry. Right, what have we got next? This one with a lovely tab on again. Shall we go in with some crinkle? Let's um, do it with a sepia. It's got a bit of the, the bronze still on it, which is nice. That's it. Uh, both plain. So I think I'll have that up there. Um, I'm really liking the leaves, and obviously with it being a meadow one, it it fits in um, very nice. Let's have a bit of a a darker one though. thinking of adding that there yeah I like that lids are off again off everything okay I think on this one I might have a few um Save that and pop that in that. Let's just pop that there. 
little die cut. We've got the back page. Stand oh, that's a sticker. Let's put that on. Like so. I might put one of the um, smaller kit stamps on. That's a lot of one. So next one is these pockets. So everything's done on those. And with the straw paper one. just stuck down as decoration maybe it's just found its way way in there so we've got that uh stamp there so i'm gonna put that one there yep so i do like it when you stamp on the thing and um on the page i think it looks nice I'm um, just going to go in with some script. Okay. Um, that's a, a little writing spot. So we've got that on there. Let's go back in with this green. So I might just do it really lightly. You know, right in the the background. I'm not sure if you can see see that, but um, I can. You know, you can see it clearly. So with that on there, right, let's put that there. I'm gonna just glue it. Um, two sides and then it could be a little tuck if if needed i'm gonna not put it right in the corner just pop it there okay This one, I'm gonna go in with where's that leaf one gone again? Do, 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 do. What have I just done with that? Oh, it's over here. I'm just gonna go there. Lovely. 
so that's that one I feel like it just needs another little one there yeah and just there okay so that's that one okay Some brown paper there, something on that one, something on that, and on there. Oh, that does want a little um, card in it. Do something smaller. Let's pop that in. Okay. And then we've got. Um, a book page which I'm going to leave leave us got this with that up top to hold both okay okay that will that will do on that one So that's a William Morris postcard. Okay, and then we've got this one. Let's see what we've got to stick down. Oh, got a William Morris face stamp there. Let's pop that down. Nearly done all the pages actually. I think there's two two more left after this, so I might as well finish them off uh with with you. If you've had enough you've you'll have already gone. <laughs> so might as well just just continue. Oh I like that with that. I mean it goes lovely with that, but it's not obviously gonna be on the same page, but that William Morris one, as light as it is, it has got uh some of those colours. In. So let's do let's do the some of the postage. Let's I'll go for that one. That's that one. Oh, we've got some green there. So I will oh, go like that. And do it hard. Ooh. that on the back I'm gonna use uh, the tea stain one so I've just used that for green that must be um, yep I must um, get these in there 
in the wash it's something you know you think about when you when you're doing it so that's that page okay then we've got this one so that opens like so just put a tiny i'll put it there because um as you open it it'll just stable the paper up a little bit with it being the decorator's paper oh i'm not because that's there why does that look like christmas put it there just because it's got the red in the and the green anyway so we've got something on there and we've got that in there so that's lovely i hope i've not put anything in here no i haven't Phew. that would just make it easier um for for sewing sewing in um let's put some script on and then Then I've got this page, which is the middle, and this one. So I think I'll put another one of those in so they can be a be a tuck. I'm not gonna put anything in them because I don't I don't want any any more bulk. Okay, that can go there. And obviously I think the green leaves will go lovely with it. So I think I'm just, did I just use that for the brown? I did. I'm going to do it lightly again. Okay, so that's that one. I'll probably put um, a pocket or something in the middle um, when I've sewn it in. Um, but I'm glad I thought about um, that. So I might go in with... stains on there. Where's that lid? There. So I'm not going to stick just a little bit of something um, on there um, so I can put a put a pocket on. What did I say I was doing? Tea stains. This is all I've done the green with. Lovely. So that's that's the middle uh, one. Let me just pop these away so I don't get them on um, the cover. Uh, I was just about to say, can we see my pen? Yes. So yeah, not a lot of bits um, left and I've still obviously got the, the big journal um, to do. So um, that's good. 
Let's go and block him up. Yep. Let's see how they look with the page like next door. Yeah, that looks nice. Yep. Little bit boring, but I think it's fine. And see once you've got your writing on and what have you. You know, sewing this and um, this one, I think it'll be, it'll be fine. So, yeah, it's definitely chunky. Right, so why I've got this out, I may as well go down here and get this glued down and then I can let it dry and then I can get it sewn in and then that's another another one of the meadows projects finished so yeah it's just the just the hardback uh journal and then i'll be able to get go back to doing uh the vintage botanicals and the vintage uh botanical architecture because i've put that down for a while to finish 